So after I finished my first year on YouTube video back in January, I decided to start a new secret video project. And in order to do so, there's one thing I need. This is my secret recipe, my secret formula in order to make this video project work. So this innocent kid on the screen right now, that's me. That's me on an old camera my mother used back in the day to document my birthday party. So that was back in 2001 where I turned two years old. But this cassette tape, this VHS tape holds a story. A story of a kid on his birthday party turning two years old. Nothing more. Nothing less. No crazy editing, no crazy color grading, no crazy title effects, no crazy effects, no crazy transitions. Just a story. <laughs> and you see, the thing is, stories are a key part of my life. Stories are the things that made me the person I am today. So let me explain. So. Normally when a kid starts his or her school career, on that journey he or she tries to find people with similar beliefs, people who like the same things they do, someone they can relate to. And when they find said people, we call them friends. Throughout your school career, you create a bond with one another which can result in hanging out with each other outside of school. So that's how I imagine it going for most people. And my own experience isn't that different from most people, but there is a slight difference. You see, I had my small group of friends, very, very small. But in my first years of my school career, around the age of four to the age of eight, nine, I rarely interacted with my friends outside of school. I always went my own way. So instead of hanging out with my friends and creating that bond, strengthening the bond between us, I always went home grab my toys, grab my fake mustache, grab my hat and played with my toys alone. I created these imaginary stories, imaginary things which I could enact with my toys where I engulfed myself in my own imagination and stories. So I came up with stories about cowboys, about robots, about heroes and villains and all those stories I came up with in my head, I tried to enact with my toys so back then i would rather spend time alone create my own imaginary stories which i could enact on my toys and i chose that every single day i never went to a friend's place to play on the playstation or other things like that i always went back home every single day just to continue or come up with new imaginary stories and then play those stories with my toys so stories to me aren't just things I just listen to once in a while, but I got immersed in my own imaginary stories. So after my 12th birthday, things started to change. I went to a different school. I had more friends, or at least I met new friends. I met new people. I visited different places. So my life started to change. I started to do things I had never done before. During this new phase of my life, I walked away from those stories. I came back for every single day. So after going into a different direction in my life for eight years, for eight years, I ignored the thing that I love to do. I abandoned the thing that made me the person I am today, which is telling stories. That's why my first year on YouTube video is my favorite video, not because of the production value or not because of the views, but just because I'm telling a story. I'm telling a story because in my opinion, you'll tell a story with much more passion when you are experiencing said story at that exact same moment. That's when you feel all of the emotions tied to said experience, but also the exact same moment where a story feels the most real to a person. 
mm -mm. So that's the reason why I want to digitalize and use these VHS tapes Just because I know if I want to set a vibe, a tone, a mood for this video, for this project I have to go back to the times Where those stories felt the most real to me Morgen.